how do you find a treasure if you don't know what a treasure looks like? Can you find it? You can, right? So, how do you get freedom if you don't know what freedom means, what freedom really is? I ask you this question because God has given us the freedom to live our lives and nowadays we are having problems and many kids are being slaves and they are being uh, victims, victims of slavery in sexual tra traffic, traffic in child prostitution. We can see these smiles of these kids, they are so happy and you go to Google and you click children, it immediately leads you to these pictures of children smiling and happy and all that stuff. But sadly, it has become in this. Why is it because, because there are millions of children at this moment who are in child trafficking. Human trafficking is the third international crime following legal drugs and arms trafficking. The statistics about trafficking are unreliable for a number of reasons, including the clandestine nature of the activity, the underground. It is so difficult to find like a certain kind of, of, of people who are in, in this, of little children who are in international, uh, in human trafficking, sorry. However, 79% of all global trafficking is for sexual exploitation. And UNICEF uh, estimated that approx approximately 1.2 million children are trafficked domestically or across borders each year. Children are especially vulnerable to being trafficked because they are often less educated, easy to overpower, and easy to convince. But they must do what an adult tells them to do. The adults take advantage of them and sexually exploit and abuse them. Um, according to U.S. Department of Health and Human Services report, up to 300 prostituted children may live on the streets in the United States. Many are only 11 or 12 years old age, of age. Imagine that. And it's like kind of hard because, I don't know about you, but I have siblings, I have sisters, they are nine, they are 11 and 14. I imagine my sisters, a, like a, a, a children that is in child prostitution and encourages my heart. I don't know about you if you have siblings or if you have cousins or neighbors, and children. And it is terrible. And imagine what these children have to suffer every night as their bodies are being abused again and again. Some of these young girls had to sleep with as many as 10 men in one night. If you start the night at 7 p.m., let's say 7 p.m., one girl with one boy, uh, with one man, sorry, at 7, then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4 in the morning, it's all night being abused by somebody and it's hard. Now I will show you a video that I have found on YouTube. I have found lots of information and this is a video taken in, in Asia about a place where the children are, are being sold. Should should be working. Um, Let's see. Uh, are you? Is that coming off your your thumb drive? Is the file actually on the computer or the thumb drive? My flash drive. That that I downloaded from the web. Is that right?
my brother professor viewed it, the sound from PowerPoint. So it would be in the settings. actually a good exercise it didn't work so you're going to have to actually verbally narrate over it and give us a sense of what's happening okay okay so this is a video they went there NBC News and they found a lot of children there like dozens of children and they offer uh, these children to prostitution and, and well it's you can find the video on the Right, child prostitution, and, and it's the first one, I think. Um, okay, now that we have seen the problem of child trafficking, we can see how non-profit organizations together with citizens are working to fight against it. Uh, in the United States, we have many organizations who are helping these kids and, and who are fighting against child trafficking. And they, they work with donations from people and and they are providing education and medical needs and they are taking care of the kids. One of them is called Children of the Night. It's a full service program in North America designed specifically for American children who have been forced to prostitute right here in the United States. Also, there are many organizations such as SCPAT or UNICEF who, who, has the, who have the, the work to make an awareness in people, uh, to, empower, to empower families, to educate their children, and to help them to understand about these problems, about child trafficking, because it's not only a problem about poverty or stuff like that, because we can see girls on the, on, on the, in the mall, or, and these girls are not uh, educated by their parents, and they can be easily deceived. Last weekend, I, I, won in Jesse Pen I went to Jess Penny. I was with my aunt, and she was like looking for shoes and stuff like that, so I was kind of bored. I sat, I sat on the chair, and from there I saw there is a place where you girls, you girls go there, like the makeup and stuff like that. This is full of makeup there, and there were like 10 or 11 girls. They were probably 12 years old, and I, and I thought, oh man, these girls, they can be easily seen by a person who works with child, with children, and they can offer, hey, you are so pretty, I would like to take your pictures, I would like you to, to, to be a model, and then they offer them to prostitution, and, and it happens. So finally, I would like to encourage you to help these children. You can make a contribution uh, to fight against child trafficking, as college students, we can get involved in many ways and that are powerful force to make an impact. Even in small actions may save, may save someone's life. Uh, we can create awareness in our families or uh, with people that we, we knew, we know, and, and help to, to, to work with these kids. These are things that we can do to help contribute time effort or money to help organizations who are fighting who are fighting against child prostitution. They use the internet, the most powerful tool that we have to educate people on the evils of child prostitution and how they can help to stop it. 
that uh, finally Jesus uh, did a, a great teaching about children and it says that we need to let children come to him and, and we need to love the children as 